when anything is expressed in a right way other thing whatever has got attached to it will detach by itself that is the highest purification this touch at the five sheets level gives different expression to life the touch are the life beyond body experiences gives a next level of possibility of expression life it's a happening in the panchakosha retreat when it comes to body experience a kind of unknown language let's say for example throughout life you have spoken only one language throughout life you never heard any other language or you never know anything any word than that language now you will be able to understand creation and act based on what language is there in the creation suppose if you go to north india like bihar up haryana or core hindi even there is no english also in many villages no other language only hindi if you go there it will be difficult to buy something to say something to communicate something everything is hindi at the same time you will not be able to speak other than hindi so you will be ending up speaking only hindi or is no option suppose imagine you know two language one language of your own motherland and you know the language of the other land one motherland and another land where you went to another place that suddenly makes your life very easy there in the same way when it comes to body language you don't know other language than body language body journey all the things even your mind is occupied by your body body has to be body energy has to be energy mind has to be mind wisdom has to be wisdom soul has to be soul now everything is occupied by body body journey what is there in your mind as sanskara your body journey life after life that is why sanskara sheshonya patanjali brings sanskaras has to be has to become stopped or zero shesha means it should not be there so it's not about something wrong with sanskara or something is the dominance of the body journey is the dominance of one language it will not be easy where other language is spoken your life 
वाट एवर यू स्पीक वाट एवर यू हियर वाट एवर यू टच वाट एवर यू फील टोटली 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 ऑक्यूपाइड बाई बॉडी लैंग्वेज हर बॉडी जर्नी दट्स वाई स्मृति परिशुद्धाओ इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप स्मृति परिशुद्धाओ मीन्स परिशुद्धा मीन्स वॉट It's not. It's lost. It's purified. Here, nothing can be lost in this life because there is no question of losing. It's the question of purifying. What is purifying? Purifying means right placement because this creation is. not made to lose anything it's about right placement let's say for example even some virus or bacteria is there that virus and bacteria may be good for something else it will be bad for something else a virus which is in bat for example if it comes to human body it brings the disease if it is in bad it helps in the same way we have many bacteria you know that in our body in fact more than the number of cells we have number of bacteria without those bacteria we may not be able to survive and for example if this bacteria goes to other animal it will die you may be heard that when a dog bites you it will also die you know that if it is a mad dog if it is a mad dog it will also die that is the one of the uh, measurement whether in india they use to identify whether it is a mad dog or not they wash the dog for a month or 3 weeks or something like that if the dog also dies then it's very dangerous you should be very careful then it is infected with rabies and the dog dog bites human and dog will die why as man is infected by dog the uh, rabies virus in the same way dog is also infected what happened what was assisting you it will kill it that's why in life the most important thing is purification what is purification placing the things in a right way that's what the panchakosha expression when something is expressed in right way what are the other things attached to it in a wrong way will get detached from it when anything is expressed in a right way other thing whatever has got attached to it will detach by itself that is the highest purification that's why patanjali brings the concept of stillness see now this cap of this bottle is in my hand it's attached is it the suppose always if i keep like this you will ask hey vijay what is the problem do you have something chocolate <laughs> Or biscuit? What you have? I know nothing. <laughs> See this. If I keep like this, you ask, oh, what is wrong? If I do like this, oh, this is normal. Then you will not ask, oh, Vijay, why you are holding your hand like this? Nobody comes and ask me because it's very natural. In this naturality, this is last. Are you understand? So this is not a natural state of my body. This is 
unnatural state of my body to that extent. Once it becomes natural, this is gone. That is the beauty of stillness. Once the body is still, what is, what has got attached to your cells, what has got attached to your any organs, tissues, it will drop. So then a cleansing system will happen. So this is the purification way of body, very highest purification. Because what you did, you allowed the body to express as body. Whenever you allow anything to express itself, other thing will go. Naturally. You allow leg to express itself. Other things will go. What has attached to leg? Like this, even if you consider the wheel of a car, if a mud is there or if you drive in India, cow dung is there on the wheel. So the, as your wheel goes on rolling, it gets purified. Meaning whatever attached to it, it will leave. So you are allowing it to be itself. That is the most efficient, best purification process. You should allow prana to be prana just in its pure expression. You should allow mind to be mind, just mind. So what you are doing in meditation? You are just allowing the mind to be mind, nothing else. Automatically whatever has attached to it, it leaves. That's what Patanjali means by Parishuddha, purification. See, Shuddha is purification, Parishuddha is ultimate purification. There is nothing beyond that purification. That is the path what unfolds in the Panchakosha way of living. Here, the depth and level of purification is so deep and so high Even it speaks from the depth that any kind of any kind of body journey should not be expressed. Can you be like that? Any kind of body journey. Then when you are stopping the body journey expression, the dominance of your physical sheath on your pranic sheath, on your mind sheath, on your wisdom sheath, on your soul sheath will stop. Or else all those things are covered by body journey. Because what is in your memory? Your body journey. What's he, what is in your energy? Your body journey. What food you eat? Or any only such things. See, have you got any introduction to the prana? Or at any time your breathing has stopped? Or at any time how long you are able to be thoughtless? See the implication. So this is what we say as covering up what happens to the causal part. In most of the people, causal part is not at all allowed to be itself. The causal part is covered up. Here, as you are expressing each sheath by itself, 
its dominance or tendency to cover up something else will stop its tendency to be limited or shrink will stop by itself all these will facilitate the manifestation of what is constructing you as you in its purest form or in its purest form means in its freest form in its proper state so that journey brings a different dimension of totally journey it's a happening in the panchakosha retreat to bring the humanity to bring the state of the mind of the persons where they will be aligning to more subtleness state of the self where it establishes more oneness more harmony more bliss and happiness more contentment more flow of love towards heart